What is up all my real ones today? Haven't posted in a while because we've had a T1 tornado down yonder. You feel me? Down here in East Texas. Blew down a lot of a lot of trees, broke a lot of poles, messed up a lot of people's houses, you feel me? Like it, it was it was it was bad. We haven't had a storm like this in Before I was alive, let me put it that way. Uh, it, no one had power from east of Dallas all the way to Shreveport, Louisiana. You feel me? Like none of us had power. We had. We went. I think. I think the the storm was thir last Thursday night. Last Thursday, and I just got power night before last. So that's Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Monday, so five days, yeah, five days without power. Yep, had no generators for the first two days. Then we had to go to, and then me and my bro, my friend, we went to Lowe's, trying to get generators. Well, we went to we went to Harbor Freight first to try to find generators. They didn't have any, so we called Lowe's to see if they had any. They didn't have any at the time. And they told us they was going to get a shipment of them at 6 o'clock, 6, 7 o'clock. So I'm like, all right, bet. Also, this is testing uh, if if I, I, I've, uh, I've upped the sound a little bit. I decreased the uh, the intro and outro, so let me know how that sounds. And I, up, I upped my sound in my, in my, in my mic to see if y'all can hear me a little better. You feel me? Because I got a lot of comments saying that it couldn't, it couldn't hear me. So I upped it a little bit because I don't... I got air conditioners in the background. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, mitigate that. Um, but after we called them, I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going I'm to go up there an hour early. Big brain energy, you feel me? So I get up there. It's already a line of people. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm sitting here waiting, and then they start handing out these numbers, you feel me? But... Like, an hour or two later, they come back and tell us, oh, well, the numbers don't matter no more. I'm like, like, hold on, wait a minute. It's hot. Everybody is sweating. Everybody stank. We all irritated, pissed off. You feel me? So, we, because so, cause the deal was we had to wait on the truck to get in from Dallas. You feel me? Where we live at, Dallas is only two and a half hours away. I get here at 545, my guy. I do not leave until 9.30. Yes. I had to wait till after close for them to be like, oh, well, uh, we, we, we're going to start selling them now because we everybody sees the truck pull up. You feel me? Everybody sees the truck pull up. And we're like, oh, we're about to get it started. Then it, it just takes another 30, an hour, an hour and a half just to fucking – Get everybody where, oh, well, we're going to start selling them. Okay, cool. I live in a different part of the house. See, I live in a duplex. That's an attachment onto my parents' house. You feel me? So it's two different addresses. Pay our own bills and whatnot. So me and my brother was in the line. And I'm like, you know what? Because what the deal was, we was one per person. You feel me? No, re no returns, no exchanges. Now I'm I'm grateful because like these damn eight hundred dollar fucking generators were Generac sixty five hundred watt generators so some some good generators you feel me I told my brother hey if you buy one I can buy one and he told me that's a good ass idea you know what I'm saying big brain energy I tell him get that cart right there. And you go, because they, they had two lines. I'm like, I stand in this line. I told him, go get in that line up there. He gets one. I get one. And here's the deal. You couldn't just go and get them off the shelf. You feel me? They never unloaded them off the truck. They were unloading them off the truck, checking your receipt, and then loading them into your car. Now, here's the deal. We were in an SUV. My mom's SUV. But it was my mom's, my pops, me and my brother. 
My mom drives a Chevy Equinox. All right. And these is two 6,500-watt Generac generators. One could be fit into the back. That's fine. The second one had to be put in the middle between me and my brother. We are packed in this damn car, in this uh, SUV, like sardines. I had to let the window down and sit on the edge of the window outside of the car so that I could fit and hold on to the top of the car of the of the bike rails on top of the, on top of the SUV. You feel me? Come on, man. And then after we got it all set up, your boy is playing Dead by Daylight in real life. You feel me? I got my alarm set to every four hours to go off so I can get up and keep these damn generators running to keep the two air conditioners, the refrigerators, and the freezers, you know, kosher. Say, this was the worst time of my life. I've had power outages, you feel me, for like a day, and then they come on the next day. That's that's fine, but five days straight is the first damn time this ever happened. You know what I'm saying? And I had a homemade, rigged up entertainment system because I got uh, a mo movies on my phone. You feel me? Apps, uh, streaming apps on my phone, and I got all the the gadgets, gadgets, and gizmos, doodads, and what you call it. To, to, you know, make it where we can see from my phone onto bigger screens. And we're just all outside. It, it, was, it, it was the worst of times, but it was the best of times. You feel me? It was the worst of times because we didn't have any power for, for almost a week. But it was the best of times because it brought the family closer together. And we had movie nights. We had, it was good. It was good. It was fun. We need people, we need more of that. Now, granted, I, we do that as a family most of the time anyway with power or without power. But it was good, like, not having access to Internet, no, 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 no media, no social media. You feel me? Had our phones because, you know, streaming apps and whatnot, and I only get two bars where I live at, so I really can't check the Internet, but I can do a little bit of streaming. You feel me? Because I get 4G. I don't even have 5G where I live at. You feel me? Two bars of 4G. Not even LTE speed because I ain't even, even that good. But it was doable. It was it was good. It was good. Uh, thank thank God for the linemen. Y'all are superheroes. They had to bring linemen from out of state. Uh, Abbott uh, in, issued a declaration, an emergency declaration. They was like I said, they were bringing linemen out of state from different from different electric companies because it was it was bad. I had a tree I had to cut down out of my yard that fell out of it fell from out of my yard past my fence and across the road. It was an oak tree, a big ass oak tree. You feel me? And all I had at the time, well, I I had a bigger saw. You feel me? I had a craftsman, but I have to I gotta go get it fixed because the uh the string is off from the from the from the uh from the wheel on the inside so it can't crank but i had a a, a limb saw on a smaller a smaller saw for just limbs and whatnot a cobalt but it was electric and i haven't charged my batteries i had one battery that had three bars and a battery that had two bars and i'm just like fuck it let's roll and as i'm cutting down the tree as i'm cutting down the tree I'm by myself, you feel me? Everybody, I'm directing traffic because I don't want nobody to get hit. You understand? Because they can't see, they can't see through this big ass tree that's laying across the damn road. And I'm directing traffic and I'm cutting up and God be like, you know what? I see what you're doing, little homie. I see what you, now he probably didn't, he don't talk like this, but this is my brain. I see what you're doing. He sends some help. This dude hops out the truck, backs his truck up. He's like, look dog, he got one hand. You feel me? He only had one hand because his other hand was broke. He be like, but he was like, I could tie the strap to it that I got in my truck, and if you cut it, I can pull it. We can pull it out the road. I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm cutting it. He pulls it out the road, but the damn devil, he was like, you know what? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Fuck that. Fuck that. So he bends my blade on my chain. So I'm like, oh, bro. Okay, okay. But me, you know what I'm saying? A knight of Christ, soldier of God. I ain't worried about none of that. I ain't worried about that. 
I go to my, I go back to the Malone with my little trailer on it, pull out my little hammer, ting, 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 and I fix it. You feel me? Fix it so it can still rotate. It ain't, it ain't, you know, perfect, but it's all right. It's usable. It's usable. So I go back to the tree. Start coming back. Start coming back on the tree. You feel me? I start cutting on the damn tree, and the devil was like, "No, nah, bro, I meant that. You ain't you no." Know. So my damn battery, so he drains my battery down to one. I'm like, okay, all right. He think I'm a gang. No, I ain't playing that. I ain't playing it. I go back to my tra to my trailer. I pull out my second battery with the two bars on it. I run back. I run back to the chainsaw. And God was like, I see that you working right. Trying to be a good steward, trying to help people, trying to, trying to you know, do your part. You know what I mean? He puts my battery back to three. I'm like, oh, here we go. And then here comes a, a private uh, tree removal service that I have never heard of. I've been living down here for 28 years, my whole life. I've never seen these people. They pull up, three dudes hop out with a chainsaw. I'm like, hey, y'all need some help? And I'm like, well, shit. Here we go. That's what I like to see. So that's that's been my story. That's, that's Bear Woodman I've been at. If you like the story, you know what I'm saying, hit, hit the like button, share the video, you know what I mean? Let me know how my mic sounds, if it sounds good, if it sounds worse, let me know. Uh, tell me about the intros, if, if, if that's all right, and let me, let me give me some feedback, you feel me? It's your boy. God bless you, and I'm out. Peace.